The federal government continues to drive its economic redemption plan to steer the nation out of the woods as investors groan the harsh and fluctuating business climate in Nigeria with 37 million micro businesses on the brink. What is the Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency of Nigeria, SMEDAN, doing to stem the tide of massive job cuts and stimulate economic growth? It's question time. Welcome to the program. I'm Binga Ashiru. You may also join in this conversation by sending us your comments on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. I had a chat with the Director General of SMEDAN, Dr. Umar Odiko Rada. He discloses plans to make businesses thrive in Nigeria. First of all, when I came in, we had a retreat, and this retreat uh, is aimed at providing better ways of doing things to be more effective and more efficient. And out of this it, we want, because largely a major problem with the MSMEs in Nigeria is most of them are not formal. Uh, when I said they are not formal, they are largely micro in nature. About 98% of the businesses in Nigeria are micro businesses. These are businesses that employ only one to less than nine to less than 10 people and businesses that have capital base of one naira to less than 10 million naira. So this is what we have in Nigeria. And most of these people are not registered. Most of them people don't have bank account don't have micro insurance, they don't have anything. They are just going about in the street, trading, selling things, producing things at that level. So the first thing that we need to do as an agency is to make sure that those businesses are registered. Because if they are not formalized, there is no way you can grow them. Because you can only grow enterprises that are formal. They are registered, they have bank accounts, they can do a lot of things. But most of the people we have at this time, these are people that don't even know how to go to. So most of them are living in the rural area. Most of them, they don't go to formal schools. So there is a big challenge on part of Nigeria. And that is why the contribution of MSMEs to export in Nigeria is about 7.27% compared to other countries that SMEs contribute 20, 30, 40 to export. And it is only when there is production that you export. When you export, the GDP of the country increases and the economy of the country starves. Could you tell us the number of micro business operators we have in the country? In fact, from the survey that was conducted in 2013, which is in collaboration between Smeden and Nigerian Bureau of Public St Bureau of Statistics (NBC, MBS), uh, we had. 37,067,178 micro, small, and medium enterprises in the country. Out of that figure, we have uh, 36,994,000, which are micro in nature. So it constitutes about 98.4% of the entire population of the MSME in the country. So you can see that large number. And this large number are macro number. The only number we have for small businesses, as at 2013, is 68,168 small. And then we have 4,670 as medium. And what we really mean by small, these are businesses that employ 10 to less than 50, and then that has capital base of 10 million to less than 100 million. And then the medium businesses or enterprises are those that employ 50 to 199 people, and which has a capital base of uh, 100 million to less than 1 billion. So what we have at that category is only 4,670 as at December 31st, 2013. So what are you doing to assist these micro-business operators to survive this period? We are aware of the challenges the micro-businesses uh, faced in this country in terms of registration. That was the reason why we opened discussion with CAC. And CAC are willing to bring down some of their uh, some of their peace they charge. They are really wanting to reduce some of the bureaucratic nature in which these people have to undergo 
to ease it off for the small micro businesses to register their businesses. And uh, based on that, that was the main reason why we came up with a strategy which we call conditional grant scheme. The aim of this conditional grant scheme is provide a certain grant. This grant that you give to these micro businesses, it will serve as a catalyst to, to, to formalize them. The essence of the grant is we call it conditional because we have set a number of conditions for micro businesses to reach before they could access the grant. Some of these conditions is they have to register their businesses with CAC. And uh, we have open discussions with CAC to ease it up because it will, the registration of those businesses will come from Smedin. Those registered MSMEs we have, we forward it to so Without the MSMEs, without the macro businesses going directly to the CAC, it's going to be between an agency and agency to ease it off for them. And secondly, we want them to open bank account because it is only when you have bank account that you can know, you can learn the rigors of going through the banking processes. So that is the essence. And we have open discussions with so many banks who are willing to go to the those steps of those entrepreneurs to open an account for them. So what are you doing to make the business climate very attractive and very friendly to potential investors? You know, uh, you, know the, you have to do it in these ways because first of all, this business is that is why we are trying to come up with an idea of clusters. You identify organic clusters, reach out to them, provide a common facility, provide a common facility to those uh, centers to enable them to operate. That will reduce the cost of production on the entrepreneurs. And again, 